Here's what happened the final round of the FIA Motocross World Championship. The MXGP of Garda Trentino. MX2 race one, newly crowned world champion Tom Vial with his 21st Fox hole shot of the season. Just behind him, Maxim Renault, Yago Kiet, Ben Watson, and Stefan Rubini. Thomas Olsen fell at the first turn. He then picked himself up, fell again, and would eventually come home in 13th place. Conrad Muse fell from sixth. He would eventually finish in eighth place, but that allowed Isaac Gifting and Jed Beaton to move by. The Battle of the Yamaha men. Ben Watson eventually got the better of his teammate, Yago Kietz, with a handful of laps to go to move into third, but it was Tom Vial with his 14th race win of the season. Renault second, Watson third, Kietz and Rubini. MX2, race two. This time, it was Yago Kietz who thought he snuck the whole shot. He did for the eighth time this year, but it was his teammate who emerged from turn two up front. Tom Biel fell. He would have a lot of work to do. He came round on the opening lap in 13th place, though. Renault was in third, gifting in fourth. The battle for third place in the championship. Going down to the final race, Jed Beaton nipped up the inside to take third in the race from Renault, but Renault would win the championship battle. Tom Biel on a charge, found his way past Olsen and Renault, but then he tipped over, picked himself back up. Olsen got held up in that as well. He lost a position. Vial then charged again. Fernandez fell from sixth place. He would not finish the race despite getting up. And again, Tom Vial found his way past Maxim Renault, but then he slid out with a few laps to go. Vial had to settle for fifth. Renault was fourth. Thiago Kietz crashed from second. He picked himself up with a dislocated shoulder, is the earliest stories we have on that. Ben Watson crossed the line, though, to win his second Grand Prix of the season with a third and a first. Vial was second overall with a first and a fifth. Renault third with a second and a fourth. But a fantastic way to Watson to round out his MX2 career with a race and Grand Prix victory. Tom Vial was already crowned world champion. Yago Kitz was already second. Maxim Renault claimed third at this final round. But it was fantastic and a job well done for Ben Watson. Wow, what a way to end my career. I actually cannot believe it. I mean, I just took... An amazing start again, and then, yeah, I put in a solid race, and I'm sorry for my teammate who, I guess, crashed, and I hope he's uh, hope he's doing well, because that's not what we want to see, especially on the final race, but I'm so happy for all the team, and I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to the whole of the Monster Energy, uh, Yamaha, Camille team, just, it's been an amazing three years. Your top three in the championship, Tom Bial, Yago Kitts, and Maxi Renaud. Uh, perfect race, first race, I mean, I was... I was riding really good, took the, uh, took the whole shot and leading all the moto and second race I crashed on the first lap, on the first turn actually and uh, I, I got back I think from the last place to, to the fifth place so I mean I crashed again two times in the, in, the, in the race. I was really angry because I think I could, I could catch the first guy but I mean it was an incredible uh, season and I'm really happy to, to win the, the world championship. GP race one, and it was actually Ivo Monticelli who crossed the Fox hole shot line ahead of everybody else for his fourth black plate of the season. Just behind him, Jeremy Seawitt, Tim Geiser, Lupino, Fevre, and Geiser was in there as well. Geiser emerged in second position. Paul Lamb wasn't too far back either. On the opening lap, though, Roman Fevre, he found his way up the inside of Jeremy Seawitt and then Arno Tonis to move from fourth to third. Geiser then took over the lead on lap three from Monticelli. And Fevre quickly followed by the Italian and then into the lead with this pass on Geiser on lap six. Jeremy Seawer eventually got the better of his teammate Arno Tonus as he moved into third at the halfway point. And then a couple of laps later, Gauthier Paulin in his final Grand Prix also moved past his teammate into fourth. Tonus would eventually finish in fifth ahead of Cairoli, who was sixth. Fevre, though, victorious in race one for the second time, his 30th career win. Geiser was second. An explosive start to the final race of the championship. Watch Tony Cairoli. He gets bumped from Geiser and Tonus. They both go off the side of the track. And it's Gauthier Paulin who picked up his first 
Fox whole shot of the season in his final Grand Prix start. He lost out to his teammate almost immediately, though. The guy who was right there in third to South, fourth, fifth for fifth. And Van Donick in sixth place on the 32. The lead eventually changed hands on lap two as Geiser launched past Jeremy Siwa. Fevre went around the outside of Portland to push him into fourth place. And Cairo retired from the race with a damaged gear shift. Roman Fevre snuck up the inside into second place with that pass on Jeremy Siwa. Portland then went round the 91 and moved into third place just after the halfway mark. DeSalle was having a fantastic ride. He tipped over from fifth, he finished in seventh in his final Grand Prix. Tim Geiser was victorious in the race. Fevre second, Portland third, Siwa and Bogus. Tim Geiser's 2 1 meant that was his 29th Grand Prix victory and it was his 60th Grand Prix race win as well. Fevre second overall for the first and the second. Paul Land on the podium in his final Grand Prix appearance, a fourth and a third, and that's 100 top three finishes now and 59 podiums for Paul Land. In the championship, Geiser, Siwa, and Cairoli. Siwa taking advantage of Cairoli in the final round. He top three in the championship, Tim Geiser, Jeremy Seawitt, Tony Cairoli. I'm so happy, you know, uh, it's been an amazing season for us, you know. Of course it was a lot of downs and ups, but you know, in the end we managed to bring that title back again. Uh, and just want to say a huge thank you to all my team in HRC, you know, everyone, you know, include uh, my girlfriend, you know, uh, everybody at home.